everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about episode five of the boys <laughs> I actually just realized that I've never given you guys the title of each episode. I mean, I don't know if you guys are into that or not, but for those who are into it, episode five is called We Gotta Go. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I definitely, definitely prefer season one. I don't know if it's just because we're getting one episode a week and we're not really getting full, that full like wowzer deal. I don't think I've ever said Wowzer before, but it happened right now. So far, it is a letdown. But let's go ahead and get on with the recap. If you recall, in the last episode, uh, Comlander outed Queen Maeve as being a lesbian. Of course, Vault jumped on the opportunity to like rewrite certain things. And, you know, now we're putting that Queen Maeve, of course, is gay on the show. We do focus a lot on the set on this particular um, episode. We do get that, that goodbye from A-Train. You know, he was trying to like rewrite his own script to kind of have his own goodbye, but it, in a way, leave it to open to interpretation of maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'm not fully out of the seven, but they're like, no, you're out. So you're going to have to like do the lines that I gave you. Like I said earlier, as far as seven go, we are focusing on them being on set, filming their stuff that they're doing oh and homelander and oh you know what let me get that to the end because i literally happened at the very end uh let's get to the boys on what happened to them so of course uh billy is like all sad and depressed because you know the wife was like you gotta you gotta go you know i'm gonna stay here with my baby he goes to visit his aunt and the beloved dog and the whole time i kept thinking please don't kill the damn dog Please don't kill the dog. You can kill the ant, but please don't kill the, the dog. I mean, the ant was pretty cool, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, if it comes down to the ant and dog, I'm picking the dog. Oh, actually, I know I just said I was going to move over to the boys, but I just remembered, and this literally happened before that. We're going to jump right back over to the Homelander. And um, he totally fucked up. He was over here trying to, well, he murdered a soup um, once Ashley, the assistant, or the now the head, whatever the hell she's now, you know, told, uh, told him that, you know, there's stuff going on. He pretty much took off without, like, any proper, like, guidance because it's Homelander. And he just flies in, sees him, lasers him, and, like, flies right back out. And, well, wouldn't you know that, you know, he, in the midst of lasering that one guy, the soup terrorist, well, the laser beams kind of, like, went through him and, like, through the other end, and, well, he killed a civilian. So now, of course, America, well, not just America, the world is, of course, hating on him, and he's totally, totally losing his shit because Homelander, of course, is somebody who needs to be loved by the public and cares about these numbers, and his points have gone, like, extremely, extremely down. So he goes and does, uh, jumps in on this, like, rally that the mayor's doing. This is one uh, moment where he lasers and kills, right? Like, everybody's there in the fucking crowd. And I'm just like, oh, my God. But I'm like, wait a minute. Is this a, 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 a like an imagination? Yes, there was something he was hoping to do. He literally was imagining like murdering like all these like mob that was like hanging on him because <laughs> he's like fucking psychotic. So let's go today. Let's head back over here to the boys. Uh, butcher all up in his feelings. Uh, Mother's milk, Huey, you know, kind of track him down, and they head over there to the aunt's house. Fucking uh, no, Black Noir found him. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last episode. I think I did, where he was with the tech lady. I may have, I may not, I don't know. Well, he found him. And of course now he's like, you know, trying to murder him. Uh, and it's fucking with Black Noir, so you have to be like super, super careful because he's like ninja bass and he will murder you. So Mother's Milk kind of like comes up with this idea to basically like home alone the aunt's house and like use explosives to like try to like at least slow down Black Noir. I mean, it doesn't really quite work out on their favor. Butcher ended up playing some cards that he did not have, but he was very convincing in a way that he has photographs of uh, the wife's son and he will leak those photos. You know, well, they will, the photos will leak, you know, if anything happens to him, if anything happens to Hugh or Mother's Milk. And the whole world will know that Homelander is a rapist and got his wife pregnant. That wasn't really that exciting. I think the most exciting thing that happened this episode was probably with uh, Kimiko. And we find out that she's basically like the hitman for the um, Armenian mob. I think it was the Armenian mob. I don't know. She went and she fucking like murdered. I don't know. Other Armenians, Russians. I don't know what the fuck they were. But dude, that was like graphic. Like she literally like peeled off like 
skin, this motherfucker with her hands. Like tiny little girl, right? Because she's like this fucking soup and these big ass like monster guys. You know, she murdered like three of them, yeah. Kimiko, again, she's going through a tragedy. Her brother was murdered and of course she's blaming herself. And you know, this is kind of like her way of like losing it or you know, like going off the deep edge. You know, instead of like, I guess doing drugs or like drinking. She finds comfort in murdering people. Besides that, the only other bigger thing that happened was there at the end, which is what I was saying earlier with uh, Homelander and Stormfront, and they finally got it on. I knew at some point they were bound to get it on. Uh, we do get that whole thing of, you know, Your laser my fucking tits. I guess the other like little small things would be like Stormfront was on this very suspicious call. So what really is she up to? She was calling somebody at the hospital, so that may be where we're heading up to next, or that's coming around. I'm wouldn't doubt if that's the last fucking episode to be honest with you i also had some really good music in this episode as well there was this really like nice violin moment there with a uh, butcher where he was really in his feelings and i think that's pretty much it really big that that happened oh why am i always forgetting about the deep poor deep but i love me some cheese crawford too if you recall from the last episode he was looking for a wife and well he did get married to cassandra here your stuff over uh, there i'm coming to my with with my friend real quick okay be careful bye okay. so you're driving or they came to pick you up they came oh, okay because you're early bye Good careful morning. but yeah other than that this episode to me personally was pretty dull nothing really like big exciting really happened i mean i know that there was like some like exciting portions but like i feel like they could have been like way more exciting so that's my recap for episode five we gotta go let me know down below what you guys thought about this episode have you seen the episode um so far how are you liking season two are you with me on preferring season one or are you actually digging season two let me know down below but of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye